Welcome to Williston Audio Extras. Today we're going to unbox and show off a kind of unique amplifier. So let's get it unpackaged and show you all about it. So here it is, the Jensen Power Plus 1100 watt five channel amplifier. And you guys may notice my favorite thing right here, front, rear, and sub channel VU meters for the win. So I went to archive.org, which is where I usually go to kind of research old amplifiers. And unfortunately I couldn't find this exact model. They had a lot of different other models, two channels, four channels, mono blocks, but they did not show the 1105. Very weird, but I ended up finding a brand new one of these, so I'll show you at the very end when this thing was made. Right off the bat, you can tell by the amplifier, it's trying to look like, kind of like a Macintosh with the VU meters and, you know, the silver uh, aluminum. But yeah, anytime you have blue VU meters, uh, you kind of got me. So let's look on the one side of the amp here. You can see at the top, we have the sub controls for the bass EQ, the subsonic the level control as well as the low pass filter. And on the bottom you have the front channel and the rear channel adjustments, which those only include a crossover for full or high pass, you don't get a low pass, and also the frequency range and the level for each channel. And you can also switch it to two or four channel for the input. And there are six RCA inputs, but again, if you switch it to two channel, you only have to use four of those. On the opposite side of the amp are the connections for the power, remote, and ground, in addition to all the connections for the speakers. Everything is screw down terminals. And here you can see the power and ground input. And you can easily fit spade connectors and probably four gauge power in. There's two 40 amp fuses. And I like the way the sub is kind of separate than the regular channels. And you can also bridge the front and rear channels. That way you can make this a three channel amp or use it as a five channel amp. Maybe hard to tell in the video, but the amplifier is pretty big in size. As far as dimensions go, about 19 and a half inches on the long side, if you include the terminals at the end, 11 and a half for the width, which is very wide for an amp, and about 2.2 or 2.5 inches in the height. The CEA ratings are in the manual, 64 watts by four at four ohms, 150 by one at four ohms. There's some additional ratings there too, and we'll talk about those as we do the test. I bought this U so you never know if these things are actually going to work. So luckily got it hooked up and yeah, you can see it powers up and has some blue lights there behind the VU meters in the top and the bottom of the amp. Now, first off, we're going to check the four channel side of the amp. Four channels bridge down to two. And then we also have the sub channel loaded at four ohms. It's rated 64 watts by four at four ohms. And then we're going to do the bridge mode. So 128 by two here is going to be what we're looking for to get rated power. Here we go, certified test first, and we're right at it. 126 and 123 at 14.3 volts. Uncertified test is next. This is uh, using the 40 hertz tone. And you can see we do get the rated power in a little bit more. 134 and 131 at 14.32. Next, we'll send a burst tone into the amp, 40 hertz burst tone, and check out all these VU meters jumping. And yes, we got 144 and 138. Next up, we'll try four ohms. So the four channels bridge down to two. It's rated 100 watts by four at two ohms or 200 by two at four ohms. Certified test first, 1% THD. And not quite there, 164 and 163. Uncertified test takes us up to the clipping point. Can we get that 200 by two? Uh, not quite, 183 and 179. Now let's try dynamic, maybe we can get that 200 watts, and yes, we do get the 200 watts. It's a little bit higher voltage though, look at the voltage, 14.7. Now we're gonna try the subwoofer channel test. All four channels are loaded, and the fifth channel is the one we're gonna show tested here. First off, four ohms, it's rated 150 watts at four ohms. I bet a lot of you are wondering why 150 watts of four ohms for a sub, that's not very much. And I agree, especially when this amp was made. But as you can see, we got 157 at 14.44, so it actually did its rated power on the sub channel at four ohms. Uncertified up to clipping, we got even more. 
162, 14.34. Dynamic, send a 40 hertz pulse tone into the amp. And again, over the rated power, 164 at 14.34. Now let's try two ohms on the subchannel. It's rated 280 watts at two ohms. So can we get it? Do you think we can? Well, let's find out. Certified test first, 1% THD. And no, not quite there. 250 at 14.4. Uncertified test up to clipping. Maybe we can get that 280 uncertified. And nope, not quite there. 263 at 14.26. Dynamic, can we get the 280 dynamically? So close, come on, you can do it. Not quite, 276 at 14.42. Now according to the specs, the amp is not rated one ohm on the sub channel, but you know we gotta try it, cause everybody's gonna ask if I don't anyway. So let's try it, certified test at one ohm on the sub channel, 345 at 14.62 volts. This amp appears to be class AB for the four channel mode as well as for the fifth channel. So that's the why we're not seeing such bigger power and the amp is really big too. Dynamically, we got 446 watts at one ohm at 14.86 volts. Here have all the results listed. In the four channel section, the four ohms, we got pretty much rated on all the tests. Uh, the two ohms in the four channel mode came up short on the sub channel at four ohms, we got the rated power at two ohms. We were just a little bit shy, but the amp actually did the one ohm mode on the sub channel, so that's nice. So I was gonna end the video there, but I decided, you know what? You guys need to see what's inside the amp. So let's take it apart and see what's inside. I've gotten it taken apart pretty good so far. Uh, what I wanted to do is take this end plate off to make sure this is not the bottom, which I didn't think it would be, since this is a piece of um, Lexan on the top. So there's a bunch, as you can see, a bunch of screws here, here, all the way across the top. But the one thing I wanted to show you is this little aluminum panel. I don't think I needed to take this off. Maybe I did, because maybe it'd still be attached, but it's glued down under this to hold it down. But this is a good opportunity just to clean this top panel too once I take it off. But I had the video almost completed and I said, you know what, I can't not show the guts of this. So extra work for the win. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, that was a lot of work, but you guys are worth it. So let's uh, pull this top panel off since we have everything disconnected so you can see the Beauty Guts Class AB five channel amplifier. We'll talk about the different output sections here in just a minute, I'll show that. But there you can see the Guts. This is not a new school amp, this is kind of an old school design. It does have 105 degrees Celsius caps, 4700 microfarad, 50 volt, you can see all the class AB goodness there. And again, class AB goodness has a separate power supply for the fifth channel, that's normal. Here you can see four of the five channels. These are for the mid and high channels here. There's three across the top, one at the bottom. And then on the right at the bottom, you can see the fifth channel, it's for the sub. And again, the sub channel has its own power supply section. So overall, I was pretty impressed with the amp. You know, at the four ohm load, it actually did its rated power. For Jensen, that's really good, especially back in the day when this amp came out, because they uh, tend to fudge the numbers before. 
but I also found a brand new one of these about the time that I originally tested this amp back in, I think, 2018. So this one is uh, staying in the box for now, but yeah, that's pretty cool to have a brand new one. Now, I did do some extras here by giving you guys the gut shots, but I did not show you a demo with music, and I'll save that for another video if you want to see it. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see another video with a sound demo. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here. I believe so. I just think we're tight. There we go. Here we go. Slow motion. Trying to lose my phone. <laughs> what?